What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Corey, what are you doing over there? Fixing to put the wheels on the front of the Nice. Deal. Yeah, get, getting work done. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. And uh, if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know we have a stock uh, build that we are working on. The Electric Red 93 that uh, Corey has, actually, at his shop. He's painting right now. Um, but this is the engine. Today, we're going to start breaking this down, get this engine prepped correctly to go in that car. So that's what's happening. Let's do this. All right, so this is kind of the uh, the plan with this. This is the engine out of the 88 uh, SSP. Now, here's the cool thing about that is, number one, it's got forged pistons. The original motor in the, in the 93 did not. Uh, so that's a plus. This was also a speed density car, which means the cam's slightly more aggressive. So this motor is actually going to make a little more power. Even, even being bone stock, it's going to be a little more... Uh, peppy shall we say so it's gonna be a nice little upgrade especially with the 93 being an aod car um but for now what i want to do is get this engine tore down and we're going to start cleaning things up replacing gaskets resealing it and we're going to be repainting it so the engine basically essentially looks like it came from the factory now here's a couple of notes and i did confer with uh with chet on this the heads and the block are as cast there's no paint on the heads or the block from the factory. The uh, timing cover, natural aluminum, water pump, natural aluminum. All of these, natural aluminum. Really the only areas that you're gonna have any paint on is going to be the valve covers, the upper plenum for the intake, and then of course your oil pan, which is gonna be black. So, that's the plan. We're gonna make it look as original as possible. It's not gonna be like a, you know, we're not gonna take it to shows and try to get 100 point trophies and all that crap. It's just there to look original. Let's do it.
All right, guys, so this is kind of where we're at at the moment. Obviously, somebody who shouldn't have been working on this motor has been working on this motor. Um, luckily, we got it here at the shop. But as you can see, I don't know, it looks like they use bathroom caulk or something. I mean... Flex seal, bro. Yeah, yeah, flex seal, exactly. <laughs> Lesson number one, how not to put your front timing cover back on. But it looks like the... Uh, we're going to put a new timing chain on anyway. That one's not horrible, but... Um, gonna take care of that and uh, about to pull these valve covers off we're gonna get all this cleaned up gonna go I'm pull the pan and pull the pan put a good gasket on it new front rear main seal and um, pull the valve covers off those are need to get uh, hammered down and painted so let's get back to work Engine is pretty well torn down. I'm gonna leave it as a long block. Um, everything looks pretty clean. No major sludge or anything. Nothing crazy with the rockers. I mean, everything seems solid. Um, other than some shoddy work up front. It's a clean little engine. So, the plan going back to this with this engine. Uh, number one, we're gonna put a new timing set in it. Um, everything is getting clean within an inch of its life. Probably end up doing a new timing cover just because it's seen better days. I mean, it's, somebody's painted it down the, you know, in the past. Put new uh, seals and everything in it. I mean, look at this. This is, this is how not to try and stop a leak. I mean, come on. But anyway, uh, pan will be coming off. We're gonna uh, blast that, paint it, all that. Um, and then of course, the valve covers. We're gonna strip those down, sand them as good as we can, and then go back. Um, I need to get in touch with Matt over at NPD and see what color I need to do as far as these valve covers to be correct. Um, up, same with the intake. Up, and uh, start putting this thing back together.
All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, got the pan off. Taking a look at the bottom end here. Why do you always run when you get on the camera, man? You don't like you on the camera, dude. <laughs> get it all fixed up. Yes, Dover does run from the camera. <laughs> got just a little bit of sludge there in the pan, but it is what it is. We're going to send this pan out, get it blasted, cleaned up, fresh gaskets and all that, but everything looks good. Ford's TRW Pistons, she's stock. Looks like the oil was changed pretty regularly. I mean, being an SSP, it's, you know, they get regular maintenance through their service life. After that, you know, all bets are off, but there's the bottom end. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. Um, Corey's got a buddy that does all kinds of media blasting, different types of media blasting. So that's what we're gonna do. But I wanna show you something real quick. This is the intake Dover wanted to use as far as getting blasted for this car. The problem is, see this is sand cast. By 93, they quit doing sand cast on the intake. If you get all these squares, that's a sand cast intake. So that would be incorrect. What we're doing, we found another one off of a 92, which is perfectly fine. Um, yes, I know it looks like hell, but we got it here in Corey's truck. It's about to go out and get media blasted. Uh, the stock headers are getting media blasted. The intake's getting media blasted. Uh, look at that. Salt and pepper shaker is going to hang right there, baby. And, uh, of course, all the front accessory drive is going to get media blasted. So it's basically going to look like brand new barrel aluminum, just like it did back in the day. Um, I'm going to do like an aircraft stripper on the block. And um, it's going to look phenomenal. Trust me. Right, Corey? Exactly. Corey, we're doing all kinds of cool stuff in here. Man, that's amazing. Dude, look at those meats. It's wicked. But yeah, guys, that is what is up. Um, detail in this little 5.0. Don't mind my mess here. I got to kind of straighten up. But um, timing cover, water pump, all that will be new. Timing chain will be new. All ga all fresh new gaskets. I mean, it's this thing, you will not believe it when it's about to go back in the car. It's going to look phenomenal. All right, guys, so that is pretty much what I got for you today. All kinds of projects going on. And uh, Corey's car getting closer. This thing's going to look phenomenal. Look good, don't they? Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna look good. We're gonna set that thing on the ground here soon. I will have an update for you on that car. Hopefully by the time you see it next time, it'll be running. It's gonna be freaking sweet. But I gotta clean up my mess and uh, figure out some things with this little small block. So in the meantime, like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Check back with you later. See you guys.